Hello everyone, I'm Revolvery Shower. That's one. And I'm Shotgun Specialist Pixel Cheesecake, and you're watching The Gun Show. Here we have a special guest field testing the weapons, Leon Kennedy. Yep. AKA the man with more than more PTSD than I think is absolutely necessary. A little over seasoned as a character. Eh, not the most traumatized, but not the least traumatized by his surroundings. Slaps Leon. We can you can fit so much trauma into this man. To be fair, he was given it. He chose to start off in one of the roughest cities. And we're not talking LA. We're talking Raccoon City. If you're a Yoshisaurus Rex, you're thinking Raccoon City? That sounds delicious. A fine night. Don Quixote. I was second. I never mentioned where to slap me. Uh, or do you won't get away or do we... browser. I was playing the VR version a while back. Mm -hmm. I got through it on easy mode with 30 death because one of the bosses is kind of not as. Polite if you're not prepared. Yeah. Imagine running out of bullets right before a boss is is fully down. That would not be ideal. I was I kept getting forty five millimeter ammo. When all I had was a 9, a shotgun, and I had the expl explosive mines mm -hmm. that I was firing at him before he closed back up. I think everyone knows who and what I'm talking about right now. Yeah. You, you know which boss. I don't think we've gotten to him yet. So... I was thinking, thought you were gonna talk about a uh, centipede man. He's a centipede. Uh, Salzer, 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 Adam Sandler. Leon, there's only time to say this once, so listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry. You might get there before she turns into one of them. Ah, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should. That's a heck of a conversation between Leon and the president's daughter. Oh, a stinky. Welcome. Oh, what are you buying? Why not try your hand at a new gun? Good luck to you, stranger. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You will hmm. see. Did see you know way. that's the same kind of gun Better the protagonist uses in Fallout Equestria? Anything else I can help? Don't get no. yourself killed now. 
Can you guess what Fallout Equestria is? Uh, Fallout and My Little Pony. There you go. How dare you act like I'm new to the internet. Welcome, to the... Good save. I was about to sing about Vernon. Pretty sure that wouldn't be as legal. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll care that much if it's just the vocals. Without his vocals, who's Bo Burnham? I don't know. metaphysical for me. Oh wee! Hang in there, Ashley. Did you see the Power World got three hundred K followers on Twitter? In the I know they're having millions of sales. So, when Cult Lamb got 300k followers on Twitter, they added the Seven Deadly Sins to, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And Power World said it would do the same at 100. Mm -hmm. And it has three times that now. What the heck do you think they're going to add? Just on sex with your pals. Probably. I mean, they have the. Uh, I mean, they have pal breeding already. They already have the uh, non consensual no, lizard. Love Ander. Yeah. Which is basically Salazzle. Looking at the. Uh, Shit. Oh, I I was looking at uh, comparison pictures. And I think they'll be fine. There was something I was just like, yeah, that's really pushing the line there. It's not like Pokemon. It's not like the Pokemon company owns a concept of sheep. Next. Yeah, any other animal. To be fair, Wulu kind of had the closest thing they get with wartime sheep are Wulu. Okay, hear me out on this one. Okay. Give me a break already. Wulu and Dulu Shin's fur are springy. Mm -hmm. So if you make a rug out of it and try and jump on it, it's like a trampoline. It's like a bounce pad. But apparently a kid hit, got an emergency haircut on a ceiling fan. Emergency and impromptu haircut because of ceiling fan and uh, and something you're not supposed to bounce on all because the all because a kid was bouncing when he he wasn't supposed to thinking of a video I saw where it's like his mom like a mom with a young son who, like hair was mysteriously like getting shorter in the front. <laughs> it's like so he he must be like cutting it himself. And then just a like no he has a pet hamster and he like puts his hair like close to the cage and the hamster eats the hair. And this is why hamsters 
don't die, don't die of like peaceful things. It's actual causes. It's always some weird and wild shit. That wasn't in the VR version when I played this. It was barrels rolling down the thing because of the... Did you get more coinage out of that than you usually would, or...? I don't know. I don't think we've gotten to the barrel part yet. Check the gun. Better than jumping at other things. Like the grenade. Na 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 na. Ooh, ow. Gosh. You revoked your face having privileges. Gosh, have you ever had hamsters? Uh, yeah. The, they are some wildly weird animals, to put it as politely as I possibly can. Oh. Don't worry, you got some healing herb. Oh. Rude. Oops. Oh, you're hanging on by a sliver. Got that magic? No. Got the magic pixel. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, non-natural means to do hamster stuff? Well, I only took care of the flat hamster, but... Spot City! Down a, down some stone stairs. If he got back up, I was gonna think maybe this parasite was a good thing if it could be put to the brain somehow. I think anything that gets up Back up from that, come back up the same. So like, oh come on, guys. That's a yellow hair. Oh man, there goes me. I died. I died in uh, apparently a unique way. Uh -huh. Earlier in the game, once you get Ashley, you can have her hide in certain places. I climb up a ladder, jump down a pit. The two cha the two chainsaw sisters. One down. Too close. Yeah, uh, it's chainsaw. Packs. They they gang up on me. One's on one side, one's on the other. And someone set me on fire, so both of them decapitated me at the same time. Apparently, a unique and rare animation. So we are a mad world type death. Basically. No sheep for There it is!
the way they had to map out the VR version was interesting. Uh, before I forget to tell you, the way my my uh, parachutes met their uh, unnatural death was that one tried to eat the other. Hamsters and guinea pigs are weird in that way, aren't they? Uh. Not a lot of good that shield did ya? Yeah, that's the Bucky Balls of Death. To Demon Player Bridge. What's a better way to kill a bunch of cops ah. than with balls? Get my way into the to it. Body armor's not looking great. Mom says it's my turn on the spike balls of death. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen that whole copy pasta? Uh what what one? The It was called Mom says it's my turn on the Xbox. It's basically the younger siblings explaining that he complained once. The Xbox is just gone. If he doesn't get a turn, no one gets a turn. Uh, I don't think I've seen the copy pasta, but I've definitely seen all the jokes. Yep. There's a continuation that we that everyone would love to see. What? Phoenix Wright's about to retire. And what he does in terms of that is go back and revisit some of his old cases and explain why they were cases and how he won. Writing a book on the power of observation and positive assertion. I feel like that could be like a movie. Rather than a game. He's an author of this book, so he'd be Phoenix Wright. But um, tush. I was trying to be real clever, but it didn't work. Just. But, uh. You know. He, who's he, uh. spending his, uh. golden years with? But you answer may or may not anger but an entire fandom. No thanks, I choose life. Jokes on them, I wake up and choose violence. I pick my life. Just reminds me of that one Goobus Goobus thing. Thoughtful. 
like a, a Maya that looks like a Misty Fang would be fun. Yeah. Wait. Mm -hmm. Fuck off, Bishop. Bishop to Tower 4? No thank you. You shut up. Explosive barrel. Get your fat asses. I'm about to die. I'm just trying to reload chuck. <laughs> ah. Nice shot. To do that with a 9mm is probably, if not superhuman, peak human humanity. Report? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> me. I thought he was gonna throw you off the the lift. That would be quite unique. You know why it's called a lift? Because it was only designed to go up. Someone pressed the down button on him, and you know what happened? <laughs> Sicking because the oh, that works better with a visual component. Yep. When slump. That's all you need to know. Apparently people are bad at Twitch deciding they thinking they know better than than the standard person. Lift. How thoughtful. For the new policy change that uh, Twitch enacted this time. They they decided to do what they did with another they decided to do what they did with the other one you're gonna have to say a few more words than that there was one twitch streamer who tried to There was a Twitch streamer who essentially bared it all, but only kept the camera shoulder height. So when she got a follow or a sub, she would, for lack of a better term, dance. And certain VTubers were trying to do the same thing, but... Ooh, was that a knife and a kick? Yep. Nice. Ah, very, very. So, 
So that's what they mean when they say carry this, you filthy casual. You ever that? See that one video where someone pops a, a super on it just Hey, 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 yeah. hey. Oh, block, 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 block. Or magic is like tank mage getting lots of defense. There's the bishop. You all fuck that way. I knew I had needed to heal, but yet I put it on anyway. I didn't think you needed to heal that much. I thought you were good. Down to the last pixel. Ah. Uh. We were trying to freeze the thing a second. She was shaking what her mom gave her. So, apparently someone was... Someone thought they were clever about it mm -hmm. and put on a box and claimed they were wearing clothing underneath it, but data was, it was researched and data was considered inconclusive there. Like, why are you... There's just like several types of nope. Okay. But finally, Twitch did what was considered good for the platform and stopped that type of shit. The thing is, is that Twitch wanted to have the hot ladies on their platform, so they made the rule change, but they didn't change their platform to have it in like the adult, in like an adults only section. Yeah, it's not meant to be an adult platform. It's meant for apparently 13 and up. Yep. Like, who would let their kids watch use Twitch if that shit was allowed to continue? I know I wouldn't. I still have some speculations about the way they bullshit. things I would put on for my Facebook. You never know what the, like, what the streamer is going to say. I think the only time I would consider that type of shit is if I wanted to get... If I had, like, a 15-year-old who thought he knew better, Tell me, what's this VTuber gonna say next? He'll take a guess, are you sure? This VTuber says some totally off the wall thing on the other side, side of the world that has nothing to do with what he was saying. 
for nothing at what he was guessing. Out of the way. Play the compilation of the Japanese VTubers playing uh, Grand Theft Order Auto 5. Yep. By the time I have kids, it's probably gonna be GTA 6, though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, GTA 6 looks good, mm -hmm. but without a compelling story, it kinda falls flat. Uh, it's funny to see people losing their uh, mind over the female protagonist. Yep. Just like saying something about like her Ooh, on, like body proportion. On the railing looks like there's something. This one? Oh. There's just a binocular spot. Yeah, they were like commenting on the female protagonist's like body shape. Yep. And it's just like that's just like that's not unrealistic. That's just like a, a realistic average shape for a woman to be in. Yeah. But these are the same people who are in certain positivity movements who keep saying that a healthy body shape is unrealistic. Nice shot. Sometimes when uh, call when talking about a female character's thought, like proportions, basically. Oopsie doopsie. Ooh. Or uh, talking about a female character's body proportions, essentially just like. Turns into, oh, it's just it's a bimbo. The male power first, blah, blah, blah. Both guys know and realize you can't change your genetics. Like, chill out. That's what, that's the... I keep telling people if I, if Pokemon were real, I would want the police to have Meganiums and Bulbasaurs. You're gonna ask me why you said that. All right. Meganium and Bulbasaur are grass types that calm the calm a. Pokemon or person's fighting spirit. Just makes you chill out, man, you know? I mean, sure, that sounds kind of bad in, like, hindsight subtexts. But, you know, it's like, you're more realistically just to get, end up having a Hound hours sit on you. I feel like that would be a war crime because their fire is mixed with poison. Once your body's burned, you you feel that burn for the rest of your life. So you would have the masochist in the pain Olympics that would have their entire bodies torched. By Helm Do and Helm Dowers. How does he. 
fix those without formal tools. That's what I want to know. Speaking of which, we haven't done the treasure thing in a while. Any... In my gemstones? Ruby and a sapphire. It will get me the most money. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. <laughs> Thank you. So, do you have to go through the shooting gallery to get the ticket, or am I losing it? Welcome for the exclusives. What can I do you? There's some things money can't buy. Yeah, the, these are uh, like one pickup items that you can buy. Ah. Like. Well, that's hard. Cool. Like in the, uh, the uh, police uh, replace all their gentlemen shepherds with hound eyes, hound eyes, and all the dog, you know, the dog fatality rate decreases among decreases amongst the police. Yeah. Wow, this hound dog can really take a bullet. Because they only faint, but can't die, unless they, unless they have a broken heart because all oh, their best friend died, or they just. Oh, the mouser and the krauser. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know I had to make that joke. You remember his uh, original boss fight? Yeah. This version is much more annoying. Much, much more annoying. Try it in VR, I dare you. Yeah. VR version of his fight, he's a bullet sponge with tentacles and spawning the most annoying creature to ever. Oopsie. Not sure which one of the two gave me a harder fight, this guy or Krauser. Because getting the third piece with Krauser. Big ol' fucking nope. I actually resorted to my knife a lot more than I should have. 
I had almost no 9mm. Nothing but a whole lot of 45mm. Oh, you gonna shove a grenade down his throat? Would be a lot of fun. I should have made it for at least a full out. And so, Magnum rounds. Oh well. There's a. You are nothing but an extra my script, mistake. And indeed. So don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. Seeing as you already, uh, know the, about the, uh, browser part, there's a, a joke that I was, uh, saving for. Yeah. Which was, is it me, is it just me, or did they make that fight incredibly gay? Ugh, penetrate me, the arm. Okay, there's a... If he doesn't actually have, like, uh... There's a theory that he is actually... Gay, but... Browser. Oops! That would be the perfect time to... Like, shove or get, put a grenade in. Just jump down from a high building. Just jump down from the top and leave the grenade in your spot. God forbid. Be unsafe. At least without a parachute. It's only like, what, 12 feet down? From the upper and lower platform. Yeah. I would say Magnum ammo and... Nothing else. Now you have room for other stuff. <laughs> the goal of this fight to me is to. And so, I have delivered. <laughs> to clear up a whole lot of space with when I use the uh, the rocket launcher on. Yeah. You are nothing but an extra. Here yeah, I thought I just. Did you just one shot him? Yep. I was disappointed in the VR rocket launcher, but I realized something after. What's that? You you have to play through the entire game once before you get the infinite launcher. Yeah. Oh. I'll probably play it on hard mode for the other alt, alt skins, but I'm probably going to die like 60 times doing so. It's going to be worth it though. Oh, with the power, with the magic of uh, modding, you can have many costumes as you want. Oh, right. Oh, that's right. Rex figured out how to mod in VR. Mm -hmm. So, on his channel, mm -hmm. Rex Duvois VR, he'll be playing certain games with modded songs from 
some of his favorite bands. Speaking of channels, yours is doing well. Congrats on 17 views in the first hour of your most recent video. Thank you. You're almost to 50. Yep. Yeah, that, uh, my most recent uh, short got like Ashley. 700 views on no TikTok. Yep. Looking out into this ocean without any car batteries to throw it. Yeah, that's where do you think you're taking her? Whenever I see an ocean, I just think of that joke. There was a There's a joke that Bowser is one of the first video game bosses. Mm -hmm. Someone made a podcast on Can They Beat Bowser and its other video game enemies? Mm -hmm. Bowser versus ba Bowser. Mm -hmm. Try ri writing, scripting, and editing a whole podcast like that. The Freudian <clears throat> slips, to put it politely. Dude, I, I killed that dude in a second. <laughs> One more mouse rejected! <laughs> Uh, yeah. Cliff Nurse, Lemon's a little shit. I don't feel the need to. Go through all the notes and whatnot. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. Ah, damn it. Looking for something? That's the closest they get to playful banter. Yeah. But that has been the end of this episode. Been a fun chapter. We we'll, we learned as much as we can about their relationship and got to talking some fun things. Even caught up on the news. High five. Another successful episode on the gun show. Maybe Leon will join us for the next episode. We'll talk to his people and go from there. But until then, I'm Shotgun Specialist Pixel Cheesecake. And I'm whatever I said the first time, Shaw. <laughs> we will see all of you next time. Cut it up in the edit.